So we'll give Dijon his bath and we'll show you what it looks like to wash a big dog. So just one more thing I'd like to talk about before I begin. With a dog this size, it's, it's difficult to get to the whole dog and move him around in the tub. So he does have a command that I've taught him, which is turn, so that I can, he'll turn around for me so that I can wash his other side. Um, if you have not taught your dog how to t turn on command, then um, I need to show you how to turn your dog. Um, if you push on a dog, he will push back. If I try and push him, you see that? He resists and he pushes back against me. So pushing your dog around in the tub is just going to create a lot of tension between the two of you. And, and you don't want that. You want him to be calm, right? So. You need to lead your dog into in a turn. So I'm going to pretend that he doesn't know the command. So I would turn his head, touch his butt. You can push a little bit on his butt, but you're you're mostly pulling. You're pulling on his head. You need to lead the dog around. You can give a little push to the back end, but be leading with the front. Okay? If you'd like to know, learn how to teach your dog to turn, give me a comment about it and I'll post a video about it. Okay, let's get started. just here. I am now soaking wet. The floor is soaking wet. There's no escaping it. When you, if you've got a dog this size, you're going to get water around the bathroom. <laughs> um, so just have a lot of, you know, old towels handy, uh, a mop. Um, hope you don't have a carpeted bathroom floor. Now there's been a few questions about using a hose on a dog. Hang on. 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna dry off his face because that'll make him feel a little more comfortable. There are, um, so about using a hose on a dog. Um, it's perfectly okay to use a hose on a dog. Professional groomers use a hose on a dog. It makes um, or a, a shower head kind of arrangement. It makes it a lot quicker. Um, you're <laughs> still likely to get water all over your bathroom. Um, for a puppy or a nervous dog, I don't recommend them because they're, they can be scary. Um, they make a lot of noise. Um, they're a bit threatening. They're like a big snake. So um, if you've got a rescue dog and you don't know how they're going to, to feel about a bath, I would start with this. And then um, once you get your dog to where they're comfortable taking, taking a bath like this, and they, they seem as relaxed as Dijon does here, then um, start slow with the hose. Um, you know, maybe finish the whole bath and he's, he's been a real good boy and then just, just hose his legs, just a little bit on his legs. And if he gets upset about it, stop and then praise him again, maybe pour another one of these over his back and then tell him he's a good boy and then end it there and just keep trying that each time until you build his trust. If he's okay with it on his legs, don't push it. Um, say, oh wonderful, good boy, and then we're, we're finished. And next time maybe come up a little bit on the shoulder or maybe the, the rump would actually be a better place because it's farther away from the face, you have less chance of spraying his face. So maybe just a little bit farther up on the rump, and then next time, a little up on his back. Um, I do not recommend spraying a dog in the, on the head or on the face. Um, I have seen professionals, um, I used to be a professional groomer, and I have seen professional groomers do it. Um, the dogs don't seem to like it. Um, I just, I don't like that. I think that's kind of mean. So, um, there. So he's going to get, um, he's going to get a blow dry. All my poodles get a blow dry. <clears throat> the little, little poodles, I towel off and I take them into my grooming table and I blow dry them. Um, someone his size, if I towel dry them and take them into my grooming table, then my grooming room becomes, um, soaking wet because he's just, he's a big boy. So I'm going to blow dry him here in the tub, and I'm going to let you see that. Um, yeah. <laughs>